Here's Adrian Wilkins to hold the kick as Oleg Perrin approaches the football, puts that a leather, drills it back towards the far left side. We're underway here on the NCCU Sports Network. Graham at the 5, heading towards the middle of the field at the 15, dragging a tackler to the 20. I think Demario Johnson got in on the play, 21. And there's a false starter on offsides of Fade thrown up for grabs and a nice job on the far side of the field by Mark Lewis as he knocks the ball away from Dante Prince. He was just a little bit more aggressive. Now, Quishon Quick roll out. He's going to roll to the far side and he is knocked down, hit pretty hard by Ryan Smith. Fewers to the left. They've converted on a few here today. There's Quick rolling out to the side. He is brought down by Darian Pearson and he says no and that'll. I think that'll take him out of field goal range. Now you've got a little bit of room so you can throw a pass and not put the offensive line in a situation where a hold penalty would get you in a bad situation. Gain of five. There's Reed. Throws a rollout pass to the near side to Jonathan Nicely for a gain of 12. That'll move it to the 20. Be blue on the shoulder. Slick looking uniforms. There's Quick. There's a slant across the middle. Picked off by Kermarty at the 50. He overshot Prince. Here's Kermarty at the 40. Kermarty at the 30 where he's tackled. And the Eagles get a big turnover. That is another interception by A&T. Make that a huge one for the Eagles. A&T now with 16 on the year as a team. That could have come at a bigger time for this program. Yeah, good job of Kermarty of covering his area in his own. And as the ball was overthrown a little bit, he was able to get underneath it. But ninth in passing as they send a man in motion. Now it's Marquise Gorham. There's again another handoff to guess who? Mike Mayhew, but the Eagles are right there snuffing that one out. Stephen Young, who has certainly had a great senior season, number 10 in the nation and tackles for a loss, adds to that. He 39-yarder is the holder is at the 29 on the far hash. Here's the snap. The kick is blocked! It is blocked and picked up! As, De- as Delson McAdams, he's at the 50, he's at the 40. He's going to take this one back. There's a flag on the play, and it is in. Touchdown. There's a flag, and Coach Frazier is mad about something. And that touchdown may get called back for a sideline interference. Hopefully that will be after the play. But it's a block return for a touchdown, and that may be coming back. If it is, it's a shame because it was a great play by the Eagles right there, and anything they're calling can't be in effect on this play. And if there was a sideline interference, it should be a warning before there's actually a flag. And so we'll see how this pans out. And so we'll see what happens here. As we await the call from the official... a warning. And so they get a warning, and it is a touchdown. 9-6 the score. Delson McAdams returns it for a touchdown, and the Eagles, I called it. <laughs> First and ten. There's a snap to Goggins. Hands up to go for it. He's got room. He's at the 40. Outside of the 50. Cuts back in towards the numbers at the 45-40. Dragging tacklers to the 35 Arthur, go forth to that first down. Go forth to the Aggie side of the field. And a big run by the senior here in his final game here at NCCU. That's a big play by Goforth to getting in and pressing the line of scrimmage. And that time he didn't have to make but one move on the inside. He made that downhill. And that was one of the things I talked about. He, he needs to get it. They need to attack that one technique a little more. And that time he did a good job of getting first down yardage and more on that play. 35. The kick is up. And it's a line drive good. kick that's up and good. He got it off. And got it through, and Oleg Parent drills the field goal, and the Eagles have tied it up at nine here at O'Kelly Riddick Stadium. Woo! That was big right there, and it was a low kick, and we're lucky there was nobody big in the middle to knock it down. And he had just enough leg to get it through the upper, get it through the middle of the crossbar. 9 0 to go. Send Raper in motion. And a fumbled snap. There's a loose ball on the turf, and the Eagles have it. Now Ryan Smith picks it up at the 49. It trickled out, and the Eagles forced the turnover. That's crazy right there. As that ball like it was recovered about three or four times, and finally it comes out the back end, and Ryan Smith slides in and covers it up, and now the Eagles have the football. And now there's a chance to put the foot on the throat of the Aggies and put them back in their pin.
That's what the vernacular for the team. Here's the snap to go forth. Go forth has room. 45 gets to the 38 yard line. He'll be right at a first down area. Let's see if he is given that forward progress. And it's on the far hash. Here's the kick blocked again. Saeed Mohammed tips it forward. He'll pick it up at the 50. He's at the 40. He's at the 34 side. 20, 15, 10, down to the 8. Are you kidding me? Two block kicks in the Eagles deep in the red zone. to nine, second and six from the 12. Here's Reed back to throw, pump faking, has a man across the middle, Lamar Scruggs, touchdown, North Carolina Central. He slid in the middle of the field, and Jordan Reed puts it on the board, finds where he needs to go, his 13th touchdown pass of the year, and we got a field goal extra point away from making this a tie ball game. And that's what I was talking about, the inside receiver has a big guy on him in most of those situations, so if he can get on top of him, I like that matchup. That time they were able to get enough time as Gofor stepped up to take it on, and uh, we were able to get the pass down the middle, and now we're an extra point away from tying this thing up. And Jordan Reed couldn't have stepped up at a bigger time for this team. 8-18 to go. They're going to send Riper in motion. Here comes the jet sweep, and that'll be cool. Stop to the 40. Tasman Foster blows it up. He brings the hammer, and Larry Riper thought better of that one, and that'll be a loss of one on the play. No question in my mind, the biggest improvement on this defense was when Tasman Foster was an addition to the defense. And finally, somebody does get out there. So they're in the eye Even formation. then, we're, we're wrong now still. And here's yeah, the that's, pitch. that should be an easy play right there. Hey, Hugh. He doesn't get it. He stopped. Yeah, he stopped he short. He stopped short. The line to gain was the 27, and I don't think he got it, ladies uh, and gentlemen. He should have put his head down and went for it, but he's about a half a yard short right there. So, for it. Here we go. Fourth down and one. Here's the handoff to Mayhew. And it's I don't know be, if he got yeah, it. He got it with the second effort. I don't know. Second effort, he's going to be right on the line. And we'll see. He felt. I don't know. They're going to measure this one. This is probably the biggest measurement of the season here. Oh, that spot, he might be short. Now let's see. They extend. Here we go. He didn't get it. He didn't make it. He's short. He did not get it. The Eagles get the stop. They did not get the first down, and Mayhew was stopped short. 